sounds interesting. Maybe some other time. Well, if you ever want to gamble away pots of money, just ask. Farewell. Good day to you. I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinek. And ask someone else. They've nothing to do with Breaky. He only drives my customers away. <laughs> really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinek's. He's gone missing and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. But if you find the bastard, tell him he still owes me some goods. I've no time for this. I have to find Hinek and you're going to help me. Am I now? Even if I did know, why the hell would I help you? This is a nice alehouse you have here. It would be a shame if anything happened to it. <laughs> are you threatening me? What do you think? So are you going to talk or do I have to beat it out of you? I did some deals with Riki, but I swear to God, I don't know where he is. I hear Hinak has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is, I don't know where it is at all. But? But I happen to know it's a dark place, a cave or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skin that got it. So, he had to have a light for that. How much game did he bring you? Not much, a few pieces. There's no great demand here. Sometimes the gentry hears something, otherwise it ends up in sausages. And do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. You're welcome. Watch you don't break your neck, though. It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. Jesus Christ, what am I to do? Not that I can expect any useful advice from you. At least, you have no more cares. Need someone to talk to? Fuck! Don't, don't kill me, I, I can explain! I won't tell anyone, I swear, I've no one to tell anyway. Just please don't kill me. I'm not planning to kill you. You're, you're not one of Runt's men? No. Then who are you? I come here in the name of Sir Radzik Kabila and Sir Hanish of Leipzig. I'm investigating the raid on the Neuhof stud farm. I've got no idea what you're on about. Well, save your breath. If you want any chance to escape the gallows, you'd better come clean, all right? Jesus Christ. This will never be over. So? That Neuhof raid of yours didn't turn out quite as planned, did it? Depends on whose plan you're talking about. We were up to it to grab some loot and bugger off. Only Runt's cutthroats was there to shed blood. What do you mean, Runt's cutthroats? There were two gangs there. Mine and Runt's. We was only there to steal, but they wanted to slaughter everyone. But when you realised what they had in mind, you didn't have to go along with it, did you? But we didn't know nothing, even though we were going to Neuhof. They told us to keep watch on the courtyard while they were cutting the horses' throats. Jesus, that fucking vexed me. Their horses was the most valuable thing there. When I spoke up, though, Runt gave me such a bollocking I knew I'd better keep my mouth shut. And when they said we was going to kill anything that moved, then we knew there was no going back. Did you know any of Runt's people? Not a one. They didn't talk to us at all. None of their faces was familiar, either. The only thing I know is they called that huge chief of theirs Runt, and Pius warned us to watch out for him. I don't suppose you know where they got to after the raid? On the way to Neuf, Timmy told me he was at their camp with Pius. I reckon that's where they've gone now. Did Timmy tell you where the camp is? Somewhere in the woods. He didn't say nothing more. Thing is, Timmy's got quite an imagination. But... Pius roared at him to shut it, so I reckon there must be something in it. That gang of yours, what can you tell me about them? Don't know what you want to know. 
There was four of us. Me, Timmy, Limpy Lubosh, and Pius Pava. Sometimes we'd rob a place or hold up pilgrims. Never nothing fancy. I'm sure you did mischief enough. Who led you? Pius. He was the oldest and he'd mostly find the jobs for us. Plan them and the like. He got us into that fucking mess in Neuhof too. What about the others? Timmy's strong as an ox with a brain to match. You got more sense out of a fence post. And Limpy, I've been with him the longest. He's my one and only friend, I suppose. Who got your two gangs together? You must have made contact somehow, right? Pius. He comes to us and says he's got this prime job. We're going to rob a farm, he says. Well, that was a big deal, because mostly we just did small stuff. A hold up on the road now and then. Nothing fancy. When they told us how much we could make on it, well, we just couldn't refuse. So Pius knew them? I suppose, but I don't know where from. We even got paid up front. I should have known from the start it was too good to be true. Where did the rest of your gang end up? You saw Limpy, right? Yes, but he's no use to me now. Tell me where I can find Pius or Timmy. I don't know nothing about Pius. He vanished in the woods, and I haven't seen him since. Timmy, I reckon, went back to the mill where he works. Which mill? The windmill a bit north of Neuhof. Tell me exactly how the raid went down. Um, well, we stormed in from the rear. Runt's people started slaughtering the horses. Jesus, that was bleeding horrible. Meanwhile, me and Limpy had a sniff round the stables to see if we could find anything worth pilfering. And in the end, we got lucky. What did you find? Smill, Sir Hanish's groom. I don't know why he was up and what he was doing in the stables, but we took advantage of the situation. Limpy grabs him by the throat and I slapped him round to encourage him to tell us where the money was. Then it all fell apart at the seams. Quicker than you'd believe, Runt comes running up and skewers the groom like a pig for roasting. My jaw dropped. I thought the stuff about killing was just tough talk. And it wasn't? No, not in the least. What happened then? I'm gaping at smell, stuck through and through, and I noticed this boy standing at the other end of the stables. The stupid sods pointing at us, jaw hanging down to his knees, saying, I know you. Runt turns to us and hisses. Take him down. So me and Lubosh start running, because the lad took to his heels. At the same time, we could hear the noise of the skirmish in the courtyard. We caught up with the boy at the next farmhouse. I knock him to the ground, but he bashes me with some piece of iron so hard my head's ringing like a fucking church bell. Limpy grabs it off him and stands over him with his bodkin in his hand, and I start praying. In the end, Limpy just gives him a kick and says, Beat it, Ginger. And then Runt shows up at the gate and hollers that we gotta go, so we scarp it. What happened after the raid? We were waiting for that fool, Timmy. Same place as we met them before, so he'd know where we were, right? Stupid fucking idea. But Pius didn't want to leave him behind. Only when Timmy finally turned up, two of Runt's men were dragging him. There was some difference of opinion? You could say that, yeah. They started on us right away that we were traitors. They knew we'd let somebody get away, and now we were going to pay for it. They started trying to surround us, and we knew what was coming. But Limpy took his bodkin and let that fucker have it in the belly. Run! One of the others. Timmy broke free from them, and we all took to our heels. Luckily, they were so bucket from the raid, they didn't follow us for long. They just shouted that they'd find us. That's all I need to know. So now what do I do with you? Well... <laughs>